despite the alterations to USB 797 in 2023, the certification process will remain consistent with 2008 standards, requiring certification to be conducted under dynamic operating conditions and repeated every six months. For certification of the sterile compounding facility include the following. HEPA filter integrity testing. Airflow testing and air changes per hour. Total particle count testing under dynamic operating conditions. Differential pressure testing between adjacent rooms and airflow smoke pattern testing, commonly referred to as smoke studies, which must be performed under dynamic operating conditions. Ensure you set up clean room certification in a timely fashion to ensure availability by the service provider and avoid delays in production. Make sure you have a plan for capturing your dynamic smoke studies. Smoke studies should be specific to your process and include all equipment and materials used for compounding. For more information, go to eagleanalytical.com forward slash USP revisions.